Keeping tech enthusiasts glued to the edge of their seats, the technology event of the year is finally here. All the leaks and rumors have been put to rest. iPhone 13 is official along with the new Apple Watch and fresh iPads. Let's start with the much anticipated iPhone 13. All four models, the iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max get minor design upgrades. The phones finally have a smaller notch as well as diagonally placed cameras on the iPhone 13 and 13 mini. Additionally, the iPhones are now available in all new colors including pink, uh, pastel pink for the iPhone 13 and 13 mini. The iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max get the flagship exclusive Sierra blue shade. Powering the new iPhones is the A15 Bionic chipset, which Apple claims is the most powerful smartphone processor on the planet. The Pro models, however, get a little more graphics power than the 13 and the 13 mini. The iPhone 13 Pro models also get another long-awaited feature, 120Hz ProRes displays that should make the interface feel even smoother to operate. Battery life too has been improved across the board. Camera capabilities too have been worked on across the range. This year, Apple is focusing on both low light capabilities with improved sensors and a sensor chip system that was previously exclusive to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The other focus area is video capture. Available on all the I new iPhones, the cinematic video mode will let users adjust focus uh, during and even after capturing a moment. No more out of focus videos here. The Pro models get a few extras like night mode on all three lenses as well as the ability to capture macro photos and videos. The other big headline feature of the iPhone 13 Pro is that it is the first to offer as much as one terabyte of storage. The prices remain unchanged from last year to further sweeten the deal. Both the iPhone 13 and mini now get double the storage even on the base model. And for those who want the best, the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max started 1 lakh 19,900 rupees and 1 lakh 29,900 rupees respectively. Now coming to Apple's smartwatch. The Apple Watch Series 7 gets a drastic overhaul in design. With an edge-to-edge -edge display, not only are the screens bigger at 41 and 45 mm, but you also get thinner bezels that are up to 40 percent slimmer. Moreover, the Series 7 is the first Apple Watch to feature dust resistance in addition to water resistance. Apple claims that the stronger front glass should also make it crack resistant. Fans of the uh, Apple iPad also have something to celebrate about. The big surprise was the long-awaited iPad mini refresh here, and it's a big one. The iPad mini 2 gets a larger 8.3-inch edge-to-edge screen while still retaining its pocketable form factor. The updated design is right in line with the iPad Pro, complete with an aluminum build. The iPad mini even gets the latest A15 Bionic processor as well as USB-C port for charging and connecting accessories. It might be Apple's mini tablet but it will be compatible with the Apple Pencil 2 and it will also have 5G support on the cellular model. Finally, Apple has also updated the standard iPad which is now being positioned as an entry level option especially for students. While the design remains the same, it gets a faster processor, better camera and double the storage. The ninth generation of iPad starts just at 30,900 30, rupees. Apple's product lineup takes a predictable, uh, predictable step forward with incremental upgrades and few interesting features. Will it be enough to take on the competition? We'll just have to wait and watch.